Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 9 of Direwolf20's Modern Skyblock 3 series. Today, uh, I have plans to work on stuff and possibly some things. Um, what I want to do is get myself some slime balls and put them in my offhand and try and do that. Nope. Apparently not. Uh... That didn't do what I thought it would do. How do I get slime saplings again? Uh, U plus four. Does that have to be the blue slime balls? Maybe it has to be the blue slime balls. How do you suppose I get those? Uh, green slime ball and lapis. Okay, so I just need eight lapis. Good to know. I can do that, right? Uh, yeah, I can do eight lapis. I can do eight lapis. Let's take you and get some smooth stone and get as much of this as we can, and we'll just do a bunch of stuff and things. We'll just do a bunch of this. Hopefully this doesn't overflow my inventory too much. I'm gonna put away my lapis for the time being and my buckets, and that should be good enough for now. All the things. Uh, hey, nice, lapis. He said as he put away the bucket that he probably needs right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, should I clean up the rest of this stuff? Uh, I don't even know. I should create like a to-do list kind of chest for cleaning up things. Uh, I'm sure there's a way, ooh, I got a diamond, sweet. I'm sure there's a way to automate this. I would imagine there's a way to automate it. But as we know, uh, we are prohibited from getting into automation yet in this pack. However, uh, we are not far off. I think we should actually be rather close to it, and that's kind of where I want to get to. I know I said we'd be looking at, um, at Batania today, and that's definitely something that's on my to-do list. However, I want to look at just maybe real quick, knocking out this. So I need about 80 you, and how much heat do I need for this? is a question that I have. The answer is 350, so I should be able to knock out all four in one go, in theory. Uh, so we want you, how did that happen? So you and you, we'll see if you can go all at once. Uh, let's just, I know this is bad, but I don't feel like running back and getting the things. This might be a little bit better. Mostly. Mostly. Uh, how much did I get from that? Three. Nice. So now let's try and get slime sapling. So you need to go here. You need to go here. And presumably... Hooray! It worked. Nice. Um, so let's do this and that and this. Growing slime is complete. Beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a piece of dirt. How much do I need for dirt again? It is, in the combustion dude, four of those for 100 heat units. So let's get like 32, and that should be 800 heat units. As you can see, I have lots of plant matter, because uh, I've been doing a little bit off-camera work um, in terms of getting resources and whatnot. You're bad at making multiple things. I just want like a separate area for growing these slime, slime saplings. And uh, over here seems like as good a place as any to break a block and place a new one in its place. So let's cross our fingers. Oh, do you have to be grown on slimy dirt? I think you do. Slime dirt, some kind of dirt. Uh. Might tell me on the tooltip. Only grows on slimy dirt and grass. Green slimy dirt, uh, which is four slime balls on dirt. As conveniently as enough as it is. Um, cool, I got that. So the thing with this is when you right click it, it um, drops onto the ground. So you wanna be a little bit careful about that. So we're gonna want more slime balls. Let's just look for dirt. I just wanna see if there's like a slightly Cheaper. Blue slimy dirt is blue slime. It shouldn't matter. It should grow on any slimy dirt, I presume. 
Um, and how about grass? Is there like a slimy grass kind of thing? I assume that would probably be more expensive. So I'm not even gonna look, right? We're just gonna grab um, this dude. Actually, I have four, so this mm, should work. So you into the offhand. Sweet. Even though that's green slimy dirt, it shouldn't be a problem for growing the blue tree. Hooray! And then uh, if we want to, we can just borrow some plant matter stuff to bzz, grow it. Nice. And then you get me some green slime. Yay, more saplings. That's what you want to see, more saplings. So let's put you here. Wow. Sapling drops have either been buffed or, uh, or I'm getting really lucky. It's raining saplings. All right, cool. Uh, so that's a quest. And the reason I'm doing this quest, uh, which I probably should have explained prior to this moment, uh, enrich bone meal, sweet, uh, is that if I do this quest and royal slime trees, that will get me towards tool AOE, which is the quest that I need to complete the basic tinkering chapter, which will unlock the next quest chapter. I also need to do reinforcement, which requires basic casting and basic melting, but I figure let's get you know the ball rolling. So purple slime saplings um, is the next thing we have to make, and I assume that's a similar recipe. So four purple slime balls on a tree, and those are made with slimes and purple dye. So that, Shouldn't be a problem because now I've got slime for days. Woot. Um, so that's super cool. So slime and two purple dye, uh, purple dye being obviously lapis and rose red. Uh, so that's going to be, unless there's like another tricky way to get uh, purple dye that I don't know about. So obviously rose red and some kind of, you know, whatchamacallit, or purple flowers or amethyst glow roses. Cool. Uh, is there any other tricky, cool way to get it? Or is it just basically bone meal and grass? Probably just bone meal and grass. Did I ever even do the grass quest? I may not have. Uh, if I had, I didn't. So uh, grass block, let's do that. So grass block is made by holding four seeds and right clicking dirt. Um, maybe now's not a bad time to look at doing just like a nice little thing. So what if we extended this platform over here? Um, let's get some cobble, of which we should have a large amount now. Yeah, 2048, that's what's up. Uh, so here's a question. Can I get like a void upgrade? As silly as that sounds to do, eight obsidian? I don't know, like, how am I on obsidian? I do have eight. I just hesitate, how hard is this stuff to make? World transmutation? I don't know what that means. Was there like a nifty way to do this? I mean... Like, yes, I can get obsidian um, through certain processes, but I want to hold off on wasting obsidian if I can. Uh, and I guess the trick here is, do I either let the cobble accumulate in world or void it? I'll let it accumulate in world. But uh, if I were you guys playing on a server, maybe, I would hesitate to cause that much trouble. But let's get our builder's wand out, which would be where? Oh, I already have it. Sweet. I'm going to build a grass area um, for animals to grow. And in this grass area, uh, I will accomplish two things. One, um, we will complete a quest. And two, we might get animals spawning passively, which would be cool. So I'm just gonna build out like a nice platform. This is how I do it. That's good enough for me. And then F7, F4, I always forget which hotkey it is. And like I said, for whatever reason, F4 seems to be some kind of admin level command. That look cool. All right, and then let's get some grass. And I should probably build like, if I'm gonna have grass over here, I should probably put a fence around things. So let's get that going. Is that like enough fences, you think? If not, I'll make more from over there. So what I could probably do is just have, um, So 
Does that sound cool? Let's do like one, two more. Did anybody count how big this is? <laughs> wow, that was almost perfect. How great is that? Okay, I'll take it. Nice big pen for any animals that happen to spawn. We'll stick you up there. Works for me. Sweet. I think that's pretty good. All right, so grass should just be seeds. So what I'm gonna do, let's sort all my inventory here. I should have a handful of seeds. Let's put a, well, now I got that stuff. Just wanna organize my inventory a little bit just because I know I'm running into a situation where I have a mess accumulating. Uh, how am I on seeds over here? Not terrible, could be better. So let's uh, do something about that. Yay. That's cool. Gotta, gotta say that's cool. All right, quite a few seeds now. Um, now my problem will be less about seeds and more about health. Uh, I really need to look into uh, better food options than what I'm currently doing. I'm sure there's a quest line for it. I don't know if it's available to me yet, but right now uh, what I'm doing for food is not working. I am bad at having food. All the food I have is really kind of not enjoyable to eat because it's such a small amount of saturation return. I could do like juice and whatnot, but hey, Enderman, please. Please. Luckily, they're not that hard to deal with, but still, they're annoying that they exist. So let's, I'm pretty sure if I place this and I hit this guy, boom. Wow, that takes a lot out of me. All right, quest complete grass. Yay. Um, now, purple slime saplings needed. Yay, quest completed grass. I know, I was there. Um, I'd like to do that many. So let's come back in a minute after I've, I'm just gonna have to do a bunch of eating in between this, I guess. What are some food options? Uh, can you turn into bread of some form or description? What's like a good option to turn this into food? Is the vanilla bread recipe? No, you need Pam's. So you need salt and fresh water and restricted item. Womp womp. No. Oh, we're gonna have to figure out another food source. Ugh. How about um the fruit juicer? Is that even like oh the juicer's not even available to me. You're killing me! <laughs> You're killing me. How about pumpkins? Is there something I can do with pumpkins that makes them edible in a fun way? Probably not. Alright. Potatoes it is for the time being. Uh, potatoes and rotten flesh for that matter. So we will be back in a minute after I've got more of this. I'm, I'm curious as to how fast this might spread. I don't have all that much dirt left, but maybe um, spreading this the old... Wow, that was quick. Was that like just pure luck or... I'll just put this here and we'll see what happens. How's that? All right, back in a few once this spreads. I think that was just really luck. All right, so this thing works like bone meal, right? Does it work like bone meal on grass? Oh yeah, hello, it does. Sweet, that's awesome. Not that I'm hurting for bone meal, um, for that matter. But that's cool. Sweet. Cool. Hey, rice seeds, pumpkin seeds, seed seeds. Beautiful. Uh, I, I made more dirt, obviously, as you can probably guess, based on, you know, the appearance of the fact that there's more dirt in my inventory. Uh, we do have melons. So since I'm over here, maybe melons would be a good time thing to do right now. Um, uh, I think I've got more of this stuff. And if I don't, I have a ton of leaves over here because I did a lot of shearing. Um, three... Probably be good. No, wrong thing. Uh, you for this. Yes. All the things. 
Go, Crafter, go. Nice. So I'll stick this in here. You can go in there. Um, pumpkin seeds, uh, yeah, I'll leave this stuff over here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put pumpkin seeds, seed seeds. We got rice, which I'm kind of excited about. Maybe not like over the moon, but like a, hey, that's cool kind of way. Let's throw some dirt here so that we can do uh, our melon. Bing, full grow. I don't think you'll grow the melon itself though, so don't bother with that. But rice seeds, huh? That would probably be a bad, not a bad thing to do. Uh, that's right, I've got a hoe that I placed in here. Sweet, lots of rice. Uh, what can I use for rice uh, to make? Can you make something for me, like rice bread? Isn't there a rice bread? Rice soup. But I don't have access to this. Womp womp. Uh, rice. Isn't there rice bread? Smelting rice dough. Which... Oh, you're killing me. Disabled the rice dough recipe. You're killing me. Because this is the vanilla recipe for, for rice dough. And that, my friends, is disabled. He likes to make me starve. That's what he does. The mod pack author here. Pixel please. I told you we were going to be saying that a lot, right? Uh, so I got poppies, which is one way to red dye. Uh, and blue orchids, is that light blue dye? Okay. Uh, and ox eye is obviously gray dye. All right, so let me bone meal the ground a little bit here. And we'll come back shortly after I've managed to get all kinds of good stuff. Be right back. All right, so in total, I'm going to need four purple dye, right? Uh, so that's all good to go. I also pretty much created a chest over here to store all the things that I got out of here. So I got rice. Uh, I have got industrial hemp seeds. I got coffee seeds, flax, canola from Actually Editions, cool beetroot. I'm just trying to think if any of this would help terribly right now, but probably not. So let's uh, get back to this. So it was four of you and four of you should, in theory explode into purple stuff for 350. Mm, sounds cool to me, so let's do it. We'll do it a, two at a time. Hey, what? Do what now? Two purple dye and one slime ball. Oh, derp. I knew I got enough. Uh, I got I got four reds for a reason. I was just thinking, like, why did I get four reds? I only needed two. No, no, I needed four. No, I only needed four. Okay, cool. All right, so that's eight. I let out all my built-up heat. That should be good. Nice. Cool, purple stuff. Hey, I like purple stuff over Sunny D any day. All right, so then you, with you and my offhand and that, should get me that. Cool. Quest complete. Ding, ding. And then you can go here, and we should probably eat a little something, because that hurt. I've got jerky. Jerky's not bad, at least. At least I get two uh, ham hocks from that. That's at least a decent food. So let's hope I get lucky with, um... Yay, more saplings. That's what I was kind of hoping to get lucky with, was saplings. Good enough for me. Alright, so you go in here with you guys. You can hang out. Uh, you need to be repaired pretty soon. Flint is in here, right? Just go ahead and repair him before I run into a problem. And good to go. Sweet. So that's two quests down. That should, in theory, get me whatever I need for this next quest, which will be... Hey, why didn't you... Oh. Just breaking trees anytime I can. That's how it goes. So any luck with a uh, good loot bag? Magnifying glass from Silent Gems. Okay. I don't know if that's good or not, but it sounds cool. Uh, what do you... It says it's a crafting material. 
Assigns random grades to tool crafting materials, giving stat bonuses. I mean, it's not an expensive item. Though it does require chaos essence, whatever that is. So maybe it's an expensive item? I don't know. So next thing, therefore, uh, would be... Oh, that's that was that quest. Let's get this one going as well. So that got me Thorn Rose. That would be nice if uh, that could turn into Rose Red, right? I don't think it can. Bummer. All right. So that unlocks Tool AoE. Uh, expander Horizontal and Vertical. Which is... Okay. Pistons, Lapis, and two of that green slime. Or purple slime. So here's the rub. Uh, I'm growing... Okay, I'm growing purple slime trees, but I'm not getting purple slime from it. Um, purple slime saplings and bonsai trees, though, have a 20% chance to get me slime balls. So I could... Let's do that. Can I... Oh, neat. What? Okay, cool. Oh, so I'm carrying this thing now? How would I get you... Ah, there we go. Sweet. So if I put a purple slime sapling in a bonsai tree, is it theoretical uh, and accurate to state that we would potentially get purple slime out of this? We'd want to right-click him with an axe every now and then once he's done growing, and that's kind of cool. Let's see. I'll state that purple slime trees seem to take longer to grow than acacia. A acacia? The other ones. Hey, purple slime. Woot. Well, that's cool. All right, I'll take it. That works for me. It worked. Uh, so in addition to that, I'm going to need uh, four pistons and four lapis. So let me get that uh, off camera, or I can get it now. No, I can get it now. Unless he changed piston recipes, uh, which hopefully he did not. He did not. Sweet. Um, so I just need another purple slime, so we'll be back when that's complete. Purple slime drops from the leaves of purple slime trees. I remembered that, so yeah. Good to go. Sweet. So now I can get you and you, and that should quest complete. Beautiful. Now we need to work towards claiming this. Devil tail, baubles, and horns. <laughs> Adorable, but not today. Uh, expanders can go in there because I don't really need them right now. But what we have to work on next, therefore, would be this guy, because this is the next crowning achievement. I'm hoping, by the way, just to reinforce the reason I'm doing all these quests, that this will unlock basic farming and automation. With basic farming and automation, I'm assuming that's what BFAA is, which um, is how I would law unlock AMC is what I need. AMC. What would AMC be? Better storage. A basic... Factory, better storage. A master chef. Ah, okay. Well, that's to get the food, but basic farming and automation. I'm pretty sure that's where I'll get like spikes and a couple other things. So I think a lot of things are locked behind basic farming and automation. Like hoppers are probably locked behind them, which I know I need for like, let's look at the recipe for you, right? Um, didn't you actually need a hopper in you? That's a different one. BFAA, right? So hoppers are behind BFAA, and hoppers can be used to make, for example, hopping bonsai plants, I think, among lots of other things. So I think all the automation that I'm going to want to get into, um, that's cool, nice. Uh, all the automation I'm going to want to get into eventually, basically, is behind that. So I'm hoping that by completing these quests, we can get that unlocked. So let's look at the next set of quests we need to do. So to get this going, um, we're going to need um, basic casting and basic melting. Uh, in order to get these guys, we need fluid transfer. Uh, in order to get fluid transfer, I guess we can do that now, right? So unfired porcelain. Uh, we need some porcelain stuff, and we should probably also get uh, basic fluid storage. Unfired clay barrel. So let's look up unfired. Uh, unfired clay barrels is just clay, and we know that clay is easy to get, right? It's just, um, you get clay blocks from squirting dirt with a water gun. Cool. So that shouldn't be a problem. We might have some clay already, and if we don't, it's easy enough to make. 
So we're gonna want more dirt. So let's get a stack of plant matter uh, and we're gonna go burn it, right? Uh, I think I've found that roughly speaking, you do a third of this. So basically you do 20 at a time. And we are losing heat, but um, what I did is threw a stack of charcoal in there. So it's just recharging the heat, so I don't have to manage that too much. Cool. You know what, I'm just gonna do another 20 while I'm here. Just get a bunch of dirt all at once. I do have to look into that, the freezer's a better way to get dirt thing that uh, it said, but for now, honestly, that ain't bad. That is not a bad way to get dirt. So let's get you cooking again so I can have better food. And uh, let's get out our water gun. You. Cool. And play. Nice. Uh, so let's knock out some of these quests, shall we? Unfired clay barrel looks more like that. Unfired clay barrel extension. Looks more like this. Ding, clay barrel and clay barrel extension. Cool. Uh, let's make only because I'm trying to be a little bit efficient with stuff, but you can go in there with another stack of wood to get me even more charcoal. Basically building up some charcoal in the background. Cool. And then you go. And that should complete this quest. Uh, porcelain clay. Let's see, I'm assuming bone meal of some kind, right? Unfired porcelain is what we need. Is made with uh, bone meal. Yeah, clay and bone meal. Easy peasy. Remember we have a mob farm? Yeah. Bone meal, not a problem for us. Beautiful. Um, so let's do like 12 for now, and then we'll see what we really need. Cool. So you are done. Claim loot box. Anything good? Womp. Nothing good. Nothing ever good out of those things. Killing me. Uh, porcelain faucet and porcelain channel. Porcelain faucet. Uh, and porcelain channel require fired porcelain, apparently. So let's put you all in there. So that's three and five. That's going to be eight. And then what do you need next? That's it for this quest? Okay. Um, let's get... That looks like other porcelain things. I'm assuming that we're also going to need a porcelain melter and some glass. We're going to need quite a bit more porcelain. So let's just do like all 24 of these in preparation for what's going to be a smelter. Um, if you guys watch my Forever Stranded series, we played with this model a little bit. Um, this is going to be a smelter, kind of like the Tinker Smeltery, except it's a weaker version that can't mix metals. It can only melt metals into fluid. It can't mix like Ardite and Cobalt into Manulin, for example. All right, so uh, that's cool. So I should be able to make a porcelain faucet now and a porcelain channel. And claim a loot chest. Beautiful. Akashic Tome. That's cool. That's neat. I like it. I remember Akashic Tomes. It's been a while since I played with it, but good deal. Um, the other thing I want to do, maybe real quick, to show you guys, just because we're getting to a point where we're starting to... It's bothering me that that thing is being the way it is. So what I think I can do... FYI. There's a mod that lets you shift right click to pick up blocks in this pack. So I just did that. All right, so with that quest complete, let's real quick look at making basic casting. So I need a porcelain casting table and a porcelain casting basin. Uh, for that, we're gonna obviously need more porcelain. And more porcelain, which means I'll probably want a little bit more dirt. Let's get um, about We'll start with nine and we'll go from there. So you keep smelting. Um, 
So that's those two. And then in addition to that, we're going to want porcelain melter and porcelain tank. Uh, porcelain melter requires a porcelain tank or gauge. Uh, porcelain tank is eight porcelain on that. Or I could use a gauge, which is four porcelain. Or a window, which is six. So let's do the gauge, right? Because I've got glass. So if I made a porcelain gauge, this just saves me on porcelain at the end of the day. And then in theory, I should be able to just do that with some of this. One more. See, told you I need a lot of this stuff. Okay, and then we're gonna need a porcelain tank anyway for the quest. Right, so we still need eight of those, and then we're also going to still need seven of those. So we're kind of probably need uh, a little bit more of this. Let's just do the whole thing. Make all the porcelains, and we'll be back when the smelting is complete. All right, getting close at least. Uh, so the tank comes in here, and then we needed the this guy, right? So you should be cool, and then one of these gets me this, and we have a few extra porcelain as needed. So that's both of these quests complete. Uh, let's do this. Let's come back next episode and we'll build the porcelain smelter. That should allow us to get reinforcement and maybe even hot wood, which does what? With firewood, you can make tools that smelt smeltable blocks that you break with them. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Because then I could like chop down trees and immediately get charcoal. That would be cool, right? Wouldn't that be cool? I feel like that would be cool. Look at all the quests I just completed, like a boss. All right, so Darwin Toy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. We will have fun checking out all kinds of good stuff. Uh, but for now, take it easy.